<laughs> hello, hello. I saw an advertisement strapped to a telegraph pole the other day and it said, I'll help you to quit smoking in 60 minutes, guaranteed. I said, oh yeah, 60 minutes, eh? Guarantee it, do ya? What are you gonna do? Surgically remove my lips? I mean, that's the only ironclad non-smoking guarantee that I've ever heard of. <laughs> I was very, I was very perplexed by this ad, but I kept reading, and it said, "Quit with Nick," and instantly his ability to rhyme put me straight at ease. If I'm going to have someone remove my lips with a scalpel, that's better than they've graduated from primary school. <laughs> but I kept reading, and it said that Nick has a 95.6% success rate, which leads me to believe that 4.4% of people have stubborn lips which cannot be removed. I can almost see Nick now. I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. I haven't removed your lips, but I'm afraid you're still a smoker. <laughs> now I know a thing or two about controlling drug abuse. They say that marijuana is the gateway drug, and that's true. So the secret is to never ever have that very first marijuana joint. Unless you're prepared to have a heroin chaser. <laughs> it would be a shame to take away marijuana's destiny from it. And you're the one who opened the gate. Might as well walk through. The drugs aren't all bad, are they? I mean, they did give us religion. Moses supposedly saw God in a burning bush. Come on! You'd see God too if you stood that close to a burning marijuana plantation. You can't tell me they weren't growing DACA back in Moses' day. And we all know that it induces schizophrenia. I mean, I can hear Moses now. Dude, there's this burning bush over there, and I swear, the closer you get to it, the more voices you hear in your head. I think it's God! But seriously, the whole Bible can be explained through a series of hallucinogenic moments. You know, we've all heard about Moses dropping the staff and have it turn into a snake and parting the Red Sea and all that. I mean, imagine Moses that morning. Mushrooms, everybody! Remember, mushrooms for breakfast this morning! What's that? You don't like mushrooms? Well, you munched them this morning because I've got something special prepared and you're going to need your strength! <laughs> So uh, when I was preparing for this gig, I looked up to my comedy idol for inspiration. Problem is, my comedy idol is Steady Eddie, and I don't have cerebral palsy. <laughs> it's a bit of a shame, because Steady's a very funny man. People laugh at him before he even speaks. He waddles on the stage and people's sides split right open. He's a fucking comic genius, that Steady. But alas, I don't have any funny disabilities. Or do I? I'm often mistaken for an epileptic whilst night clubbing. I went through the dance scene and everyone danced like this. It's lots of fun until someone comes up to you and tries to render you medical assistance. They say, mate, are you alright? Yeah, man, I've got a wicked night out. They say, no, mate, seriously, do you need some help? But also, I've got acne at the same time I'm getting grey hair. It's very confusing. I don't know whether I should go to school, work, or the retirement village. <laughs> <laughs> and it's very confusing because kids will come up to me and point, me, point at me in the street. And I'll go, Mum, why is that teenager so old? <laughs> and they never have an answer. Also, you'll notice that I am a man, but I appear to be pregnant. <laughs> it could be a very grave disability for me in the coming months, as I've no idea how they're going to retrieve that baby from my man womb. <laughs> <laughs> in addition, I think my wife might have a bit of a disability. Lovely woman, but I can't seem to grasp basic concepts. She woke, I woke up the other morning and she said, Would you like a blowjob? I took her temperature and then I said, Fuck, honey! I thought we had a system going here. There's really no need to ask next time. But if you do ask, and I ever say no, bring an ambulance. Immediately. There's obviously something seriously wrong with me. I mean, could you imagine how sick you'd have to be to say, no, honey, I don't want a blowjob? I think I could be in the middle of a full-blown epileptic seizure and I'd still think that a blowjob is a fantastic idea. In fact, if my wife was having a seizure, I'd probably still take the risk. But the worst of all, my most debilitating disability is that my lips are still attached and it makes me susceptible to smoking. Thank you.